All right, let's get into this. So Biden hurt himself playing with his dog. You heard me right. You probably heard that on the news, social media. And to be clear, I'm not glad that he got hurt. I have always said I, I don't wish the worst upon him. I think he's an awful person, an awful politician who only cares about himself and his family. But I just have always said I wish he wasn't running for president. And in this case now, fast forward to the end of 2020, the worst year in the history of mankind, I wish that it didn't look like there was better than a coin flip odds that he was going to be the president because he's not healthy. He's not fit. He's not the right guy. And I'm sorry for the dog who is no doubt confused for a cat on most occasions with Joe, who just celebrated the 4th of July last week. The guy's a train wreck. He's a disaster. Trump was doing four to five. We've seen Trump throughout the years, but leading up to November 3rd, four to five rallies a day, traveling all over the place, is in great cognitive health. I know there's trolls out there. There's people who don't like how he says or what he says, but he's... He's, he's just fine in terms of his cognitive health. You can't say the same for Joe, who didn't campaign. He didn't need to, but he didn't campaign. Supposedly got 80 million votes, the most votes in the history of our elections. He can't string a sentence together or play with his dog, apparently, without getting hurt. And this is going to be, and, and, and the media is lauding this and celebrating it. Big tech is, so many people. This is going to be, if things remain as they are right now, the leader of the free world. God, you got to be kidding me. If, 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 if anything was ever a more perfect picture of 2020 in the shit show that this year was, it's the fact that that guy is getting ready to pick out curtains in the Oval Office. But there's more stuff. There's more 2020 stuff that we're going to get to that's going to scare you for 2021. And you should be. You should be so damn awake right now and so scared of what's coming. Because some of it is very real and some of it will affect you. It's not just certain communities. This 2021 is, is going to move beyond the, oh, don't worry, it's just in Portland kind of a mindset. And for all of us, myself included, who are, oh, I can't wait to get through 2020. Thank God. 2020 is coming to an end. No. We've seen, we hoped. You know, you hope for the best, prepare for the worst. We've, we've seen that that's not going to be the case. The first several quarters, if not forever, are going to suck in 2021. They just are. And that's even if we can reverse this decision and get into the White House, they're going to suck. But if we don't, saddle up, folks. This, it's going to get nasty. But that's not the only uh, Biden news couple other things we can touch on here. He's constantly been tweeting out, and, he's, and he did some on, on, on the two or three campaign stops that he did, tweeting out and, and saying in his speeches a plead and a call for unity. I'm going to be a president for Americans, not Republicans or Democrats. Well, behind the scenes, he and the DNC pull off all this nefarious crap that's, at this point, obvious as, as can be. But because they have the support of big tech and social media, it doesn't matter. They can get away with whatever they want. Literally could get away with murder, as we've seen speculation of, of other Democrats in the past. But, but these people could get away with whatever they want, and they are, and we're letting them. I talked about that in a clip yesterday. We'll talk about it more after the break today. But he's been calling for unity, getting back on point. He's been calling for unity. This was his latest tweet this weekend, which touched on the same thing here. You can see it here. If you're, if you're listening, it says it's time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, and listen to each other again. Apologize for my laugh. It's remarkable that he's saying this. To make progress, we must stop treating our opponents as our enemy. We are not enemies. We are Americans. So that enrages me. And, and not because, look, I, I want, and if you watch this show, if you listen to me, on a frequent basis or hopefully daily, you know that I want unity. I want peace. I want peace through strength as a country. I want traditional American values. I want to be accepting of others. I don't want people telling others how to think and what to do. But when you see the level of vile behavior that we've seen from the Democrats, their proxy groups, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, uh, Antifa etc., on the streets this year, 
and their acceptance of that, you see them supporting felons and criminals who have, who have, have rap sheets miles long. You see them go after Americans. You see them support big tech and all of, all of the, the bias and the censoring that's going on of conservative voices. You see the absolute worst in the history. What we're seeing right now with the Democrat Party, social media, mainstream media, all of that is literally, and I say it all the time, it's literally a movie that we are living in. These are the worst people who are the enemy of this state, the enemy of the United States of America. They are very much our foes and they are right here within our borders and they are right in front of our faces lying to us on a daily basis. So for someone like that to call for unity, when they're immediately going to try and take your guns, they're immediately going to do this, they're immediately going to talk about mandatory vaccines, which we're, which we're going to talk about in a second, they're immediately going to do all of these things that will fundamentally ship, shift and, and shape how your lives operate moving forward. But they want you to just be peaceful and stop throwing insults and mean statements towards them. They want you to fall in line. They want you to be controllable. They want you to do what they say. And of course, not as they do, because they'll, they'll, they've always had their own rules. They'll, they'll continue to have their own rules. But Joe Biden doesn't even remotely understand America or Americans. He just doesn't. So how can you say we're Americans, let's all be Americans and not enemies, when you don't even know what that is? The same thing goes for, for your former boss who's been running his, his trap a lot lately, Obama. You don't get Americans. It's been proven. You, you forced and caused the Trump administration, whether it's four years or eight years. It's you guys and people like you guys that brought this. So you can be mad. You can be upset that it goes against your internal values and that there's people now who are, who are waking up to how you've lived and operated and done things. But the reality is still the reality. You're scum. You don't understand everyday Americans. You want to fundamentally shape and shift this country and push it down a path that would be irreparable and destroy this once great empire. So don't, don't call for unity and say we all need to be Americans when you don't even understand what that means. You've got 47 years of service that have, have served no one but yourself. There's, you have nothing to show for except for disaster and increased wealth for all of you people. You look at the president, whether you like the president or not, and whether you agree on what his actual financial worth figure is or not, it hasn't gone up since he became president. It's gone down, and he didn't take a salary. All of these other people, their salaries, their net worths went through the roof. They're millionaires now because they care about themselves, not this country, not you. And that's why I have such trouble. I respect the office of the, white, of the, of the president. I respect the Oval Office regardless of who's been in there. I think everyone should take that approach. But things are starting to change. Because when you, when you act the way that these Democrats have acted, and they've always acted this way, to be clear, it's just coming out into the light of day now. But when you know what's actually going on, and you know that they don't care about you, and you know that they want to take away many of your rights, it, ch it changes how you look at it changes how you look at it. It's, and it's, it's a frustrating and confusing place to be. But I can tell you this. His statement there is a load of crap. His statement is absolute BS. America's under attack, and they're all around us. I'm talking about liberal Democrats, and they're out to destroy everything that we've worked so hard for. Mammoth Nation's here to fight for you. You only get one vote, so let's join forces. We support conservative lawmakers in the causes you hold so dearly. We stand behind our police, veterans, the Second Amendment, and much more. We need your help, so join today.